Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Last Door, Chapter 3, The Four Witnesses. I guess there's probably not really any introduction needed, because if you're watching this, you've probably seen my videos on the previous two chapters. So, let's just get going. New game. Mm-hmm. Headphones and dark environment recommended. Check. Well, actually, my light is on. Maybe I should... I should probably turn it off, actually. Okay. Challenge accepted. I will turn it off. There we go. All is darkness. All is cold. All is silence. Am I inside of the, uh, the casket? From the end of the last chapter? I think I am. I think I'm trying to get out. Let me out of here! <sighs> Man, I love what they do with the intros for these chapters. Every single chapter has had, has had an exceptional intro. Just wow. like winter. Once again, there's the exceptional sound design showing itself. Jeremiah, we must talk. With your mother deceased, arrangements have to be made regarding your upbringing. A man of my position and responsibility can't take the time to look after a young boy. First thing in the morning, you will, de you will depart for Scotland. I am sending you to study at the St. Gall Boarding School in Aberdeen. You need not bother to write, as I will not have time to read your letters. Jesus. I won't have time to read your letters. That is cold, which I suppose is very fitting of the situation I find myself in, in the snow. Shielding myself from the, the blizzard or the wind, the onslaught of freezing ice cold wind. Still no letters for you, Devitt. Please do not persist any further. Pleased to meet you, my new classmates. And who is that? Hm, him? Oh, that's just Devitt. Pay him no mind. He's a little... odd. Interesting. Hello, I'm Anthony. Anthony Beechworth. This is my first term here. I've only just arrived. I hope we can be friends. Aw, so that's how they met. What... what is happening? 
My head is pounding. I feel so weak and thirsty. If I don't drink water soon, I will faint. Dear Lord, where am I? Am I standing in a pool of blood? What is this red stuff? A shiver runs down my spine when I look at what could have been my eternal deathbed. So where have I been taken? I was put in this coffin by that bastard at the boarding school, but where am I now? And what is this ticket? The four witnesses. I wonder how it got in my pocket. The four witnesses. A ticket to see a play called The Four Witnesses. That's a rather strange name. It almost makes me wonder if this is all happening in my head. Because there are, well, four witnesses to the, what was it, the opening of the veil? When everybody looked in, looked behind the veil, I guess, and saw something they shouldn't have. Eyes close, ears muffle, and voices hush in the land that loves silence. Looks like I'm in a basement. It's disturbingly quiet. The light coming in from outside is dazzling. I'm in a city. Is it Aberdeen? How could I have escaped? Yeah, this is not the boarding school. Looks like some decrepit industrial zone. I can't see anything beyond this wall but the dark facades of buildings on the far side. Hello? Cheapest potatoes in town. whoop de do. I don't suppose you have water? Hello, boy? Young man? Young man, could you please tell me where I am? Okay. Thank you for your hospitality. I guess I'll go talk to the potato salesman. Water crust for sale. I don't even know what that is. I'll take it. It has water in the name and I need water. Please, sir, could you give me some water? This ain't a charity, Toph. I only sell to paying customers, so cough up or get out. And, of course, I have no money. Well, but that's the end of that for now. I need to find either a source of water or money. There's a cart blocking the alley. I won't be able to pass until it has been moved. Oh, that looks like a drink. What is that on the table? An indignant... In, indi, in, indigent? Indigent. I don't even know what that means. An indigent in ragged clothing sits leaning against the brickwork. The young man sleeps under a filthy blanket. Indigent, does that mean homeless? Stained and threadbare sheets struggle to dry in the muggy air. A young woman suffers difficulty breathing. It's just... It just looks like a... A dying town. Maybe already dead. Everything's just... Looks... Just... Dead. Horse meat for sale. Ew. Please, I need water. Get out of here, drunk. <sighs> there is a man staring at me from amidst the crowd. Something in his countenance seems strange to me. Hey, come back here. What the hell? It's 
It's very suspicious. Please, ma'am, could you tell me where I am? You don't know where you're at? Why? This is the old Nic Nic uh, Nicole Street Rookery. A darker, more decrepit place like never there was. But that's in London. How could I have arrived in this slum? That's a good question. How did I get here? I was put inside of a coffin, and now I'm here. What exactly happened between... Between being back at the boarding school and here? <gasps> Water! Oh, ooh, that looks nasty, though. That looks all green and, like, radioactive. From the pipe flows grimy water, full of soot. I'm not drinking. No. No, I don't have to drink that, do I? It'll probably kill me. The stench from the sewer drain is nauseating. I'll probably get cancer just from drinking this crap. But I think I have to. The water's foul odor is repulsive, but I'm overcome with thirst. Ugh. Well, that's no surprise. Did I pass out from the water, or just from general... tiredness? I must have fainted. It is dangerous to be in Old Nicole's at night. I should make my way out as quickly as possible. Okay, now, am I pronouncing that right? Old Nicole's? Nichols? Nichols? Old Nichols? I'm gonna go with Nichols if I can remember that. I probably won't. We'll see. We'll see. Right, so am I gonna get mugged or something? I feel like I'm gonna get mugged. Very, very quiet. Hold on, what's this way? I'm trying to remember exactly how to pronounce it. I think it's just called her, right? Her Dr. Wakefield is here to see you, mine her. I, I think that's how you say it. Show him in, hers. Obviously German, of course. It is about your patient, is it not? There is no trace of him. He hasn't shown up for his last sessions. I have been to his house, of course. His landlady assured me he went on a trip weeks ago and hasn't come back home. He kept the, des the destination to himself. Then it is happening as I feared. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear friend. I first thought of this when you described your sessions with Her Devitt, but I didn't want to upset you without need as I hoped for the best. Now I am afraid my suspicions could be true. There are some things that I will have to verify first, though. I promise that I will contact you as soon as I have learned anything important. Please, Herr Doctor. It is of the utmost importance no one else knows of this matter. You have my total discretion. Chapter 3. The Four Witnesses I feel like I've been walking these streets for hours. Surely I must be close to finding my way out of this. Blab... <laughs> that wasn't the end of the sentence, but the, la the very last word is saved for the next panel. They made it so awkward. Find my way out of this! Pause. Labyrinth! I should have noticed there wasn't a period at the end of the sentence. Yes, I know, I know it's in full screen. Thank you. That's just Flash Player. When you move your mouse to the edge of the screen, it tells you this. 
I guess it thinks you're trying to escape. You're like, how do I get out of this window? And it has to tell you. It's now full screen. You can press escape to exit. Don't worry. I know. I know, Flash. It's okay, Flash. Go away, Flash. No one likes you. It's you. Don't, don't, no. Come back here. Get back here. Oh, hell no. No, I'm not gonna, I'll go in there last. Nope, nope. It's just rubbish. Rotten scraps of food and discarded papers. I'm gonna go in there after I look around. You may keep my miserable kingdom. You may keep my spike-encrusted jewels. Stay there as you will, and stare into my eyes. I am a shadow's shadow and will not disappoint. What the hell kind of a thing is that to have pasted on the wall? What does it even mean? Oh, God. I uh, don't think I want to be here. Let's go speak with her. Or him? I actually have no idea if it's a her or a him. It's impossible to tell. Do you hear them? It's the crows, searching for the moans of the weak and dying. They're calling to each other. They must have found something. Could you help me? These streets are so confusing to navigate. I'm afraid I've lost my way. Could you direct me out? Yes, lost one. I can give you directions. I have been gifted with the second sight. I can peer deep into your past and unwind the tapestry of your fate. Would you like me to close my eyes so that yours may be opened? I, I haven't a penny to pay you. Money is of no matter here. Come close to me now. Let's see, what do I do here? Oh, I see. Tarot cards. The mask. Empty eyes stare at you, and a voiceless mouth calls you. Its lips twist and snarl with what it has seen. What is still to be seen. You think it is a stranger's face, but it is your own. Let's try this one. Maybe this one will be cheerful. The scream. It begs you to escape. Mute, it shrieks your lost name. Sharp, painful, and burning. Its voice is one you know. Maybe this one will be nice. The Walker. You have embarked upon a great journey, but this path has been walked by you before. You step in your own footprints inside a circle of fire. I don't understand. What does it all mean? I can't unpick these ones. The threads you have woven in destiny are too tight, child. But you will, oh yes, you will. I can do no more. That is not for me to say, but for you to discover. Remember that in the fog, we see only what is closest to us. The bird remains in the distance. If you wish to leave, you must follow the path of bird. No more direction can I give. Um, I, I must go. You will need a map to guide your steps. Farewell. Okay, follow the path of the bird. I don't know what that means. But I'll try to keep it in mind. This place is a labyrinth. What's in here? There's so many places to go. So many places. Oh, in the fog. Okay, it says something about seeing it in the distance in the fog. Let's let's just explore here for now. It's very dark. I don't dare go on. Okay, yeah, actually, I can't. I don't have a torch. Or a lantern of any sort. Let's try the sewers. That should be fun. 
Actually, that's probably also too dark. Yeah. There's not enough light for me to see. Lord only knows what I might stumble into. No kidding. What does that say, though? The letters seem to have been inscribed with an oily grime. It reads, Rats. I'm not sure if that's a warning or an exclamation. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for the rats that are going to eat your face, or rats! I burned my pizza, or something like that. The sewer is flooded here with an ankle-deep pool of water. Patches of oil swirl on its surface. Alright, let's go to where that man went. Oh, that, that is where he went. I just, I didn't even realize that's where he went. Okay, so we can't follow him. In that case... Let's look around. The street lamp tries to put some light into the gloom. The boarded up window of a rundown house. Dust smears the glass, preventing me from seeing the interior. Ew. It's a meat house. A rank piece of meat hangs from the ceiling. And by the look of it, this meat is rotten. Cuts of rancid meat lie discarded on the butcher's block. That's the only light coming into this filthy room. Is this a puzzle? I think this is a puzzle here. The remains of a horse hang by a hook affixed to the wall. Its blood drains, seeping into the floorboards. Ew. A metal plate is planted in the wall. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was a bolt hole. Oh, it's one of these. <laughs> that was it? I was only just getting started. Um, I guess I got lucky. Or maybe I'm just extremely smart and can solve any puzzle in an instant. Um, no. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that's not even remotely true, so no. I just got lucky. A strange place to have in a... A meat house, or butcher's... I don't, what do you even call these places? A place that processes meat. Rusted out drums. Empty. A bottle of gin. It's empty, but it may be of some use. This machine is old and in disrepair. It appears to be some sort of filtering machine. Despite its condition, it seems to have been used just recently. Hmm. Filtering. It's a glass... A... S Essensier? Never seen that word before. Liquids are poured into the top, and then impurities removed through a valve at the bottom. Okay. So I can filter and purify stuff. Good to know. And I have a bottle to put it in. What if... Could I grab some oil? I collected some of the oily water in my gin bottle. Oily water. Okay, so if I distill this, what am I going to get? Am I going to get oil or water? I suppose, I suppose either actually might be useful. Now, where did I come from? 
This way? I'm still gonna get lost, but okay, here we go, I found it. Whew! I'm totally gonna get lost at some point, though. Because this place is a labyrinth. Okay, what are we gonna get? I pour the contents of the bottle into the essence here. The oil floats on the surface. When I open the valve, I will drain the water until all of the water has been removed. That's it. I've extracted all the water. Only the oil now remains. Okay, so I'm guessing I can use that for some sort of a lantern if I find it. Yeah, because at the moment I have nothing to put that into. Gotta wait. Maybe I should head out into the mist. Let's explore a bit more first, though. The gate is latched shut. I can't open it from this side. Actually, I think maybe I've explored everywhere except the fog at this point. I think I have. Yeah, okay. Time to check out the fog. Let's see if I can follow that person's extremely vague directions. Something about following the bird. I hear crows. I got lost in the fog. If I am to make my way through, I will need to orient myself somehow. Okay, I think I accidentally pressed something I didn't mean to. Yeah, I accidentally clicked on this. I hear them. Wait, okay, they're to my left. They're here. This way. No? That sounded like where they were coming from. Hmm. Once again, it sounds like they're coming from here. Okay, let's just keep going and see what I find. It sounds like wind. Okay, I can just keep going to the right. Let's let's try that. No, I didn't think so. All right, let's try to follow the sound of the birds again. That's the sound of wind. Or, no, that's the sound of the sea. Okay, there's no sound of birds. Okay. Follow the sound of the sea? Let's try it. No. I'm confused. Let's go back for directions. Alright, how do I get out of this place? There's no way to exit the fog. We can only wander around and get lost in it. In the fog, all the stars die. Okay. You're weird, dude. Whoops, didn't mean to press that. You're weird, dude. I'm following a man. He must have passed this way. And how is that man? Tall, well-dressed, red-haired, and a cold look in his eyes. 
the nightmare of which we don't talk about. All of us, asleep or awake, have seen that man sometime. Okay, when I said a weird man, I thought I was talking about this person, not the person I've been chasing, but... Okay. See ya. You will need a map to guide your steps. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just not meant to go into the fog yet. But if not, then where do I go? I have a source of oil, but what can I do with it? There's nothing to pick up. Nope. Can't go in here. Too dark. I don't think I'm missing anything here. Rusted out drums. Just the distillation machine. Only the oil now remains. Here, have a ticket. Nope. No, I'm not sure what I'm missing. I wonder if there's some sort of an item that I've missed. It's just... That I've just passed over and haven't picked up that I need. Like a torch, for example. I probably need a torch, because... Or a lantern of some sort. Because that would allow me to go into multiple places that I can't currently access. Let's try the fog again, though. I don't know, he says you'll need a map, and I obviously don't have one. So I don't think this is going to work. There's the sound of the birds. Yeah, it doesn't work. Nope. I don't get it. I'm not sure how I'm lost so early on. I have almost no items to even use in my inventory. How can I already be lost? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to search around a bit more and I will come back when I find something. Here we go. A rusty old oil lamp sits empty in the corner. No, it doesn't belong to, any to anybody. You're welcome to take it if you like. I'm not sure what good it'll do you without any oil, though. I thought that was, like, his. It looked like it was part of his little setup here. I didn't realize that was a lantern. That solves absolutely everything. Okay, let's go fill it up. I fill the lamp with oil. I hope it will be enough to last the night. One question, though. How do I light it? I have no matches. And I haven't any I haven't seen any source of fire. Maybe it automatically lights or something? Doesn't hurt to try. No. 
I just need something to turn it on. <laughs> well, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's turning things on. Actually, no, I'm quite bad at it. As you can see right now. Because I don't know what to freaking do! Uh, how do I turn you on, lamp? Maybe if I rub it really hard, it'll, it'll get turned on? Wait, that doesn't sound right. Maybe if I use it on the fire that I just noticed is here. Maybe that would work. Just a hunch. I'm so observant. I've been told I have the eyes of an eagle. A blind one. Alright, let's follow this man. Where did you go, and what the hell is this building? Looks like a mansion. The portrait of a gentleman with a distant look seems vaguely familiar. An old an old bottle of St. Emilian Grand Cru is covered with dust. That opens, but what's upstairs? All right, let's check downstairs first. I think I see something on the other side of that window, but from here I can't distinguish what it is. Mold covers the wood stacked in the shed. Judging by the resin oozing on the surface of this tree trunk, it appears to have been recently chopped down. The door is locked. I can't even move it. Um. No offense, Devitt, but it appears that, aside from this little doorway here, this entire place is walled off with a four foot high, four to five foot high wall. I think you could just kind of jump over it, but, but okay. The walls of the mausoleum are crumbled with age. Wait a minute, I can touch that? The resin is thick and, is a thick and sticky liquid. I can't just pick it up with my hands. Okay, so I might be able to collect it for something. Maybe as a sort of glue? A bright meadow. The picture has faded to a dull color. Oh great. <laughs> Laughing inside of a creepy deserted mansion. In the dark. The sitter is a strikingly beautiful young woman. Her features are sharp and aristocratic. Now my eyes focus in the gloom. I can see that the person sitting on the bed is an elderly woman. She's just dressed up as a young girl for some reason. She appears not to hear or see me from here. I will need to get closer if I am to explain myself. Why do I feel like something bad is going to happen if I approach her? Hmm. My reflection stares back at me through the grime. A portrait of a beautiful young dancer. An old wardrobe. Hello? The wardrobe is locked. There is something am amongst the embers. Hmm. I can't put I can't put my hand in or I will burn myself. True enough. Before I talk to her, what is this? March eighth, eighteen forty three. I'm exhausted. Father made me rehearse today for eight hours. By the end, the music wavered with his trembling hands. It's still a long time for the day of the show. But he insisted that everything must be perfect. One more song, he said, 
over and over. March 21st, 1843. Father got really mad at me and he started to shout when, after many hours of rehearsal, I said that I wanted to get out and play a little in the street. More and more, he is obsessed with rehearsing, with concerts, with perfection. April 3rd, 1843. Am I not the one who earns the money to feed us? Am I not the one people come from all over to see and admire? Is my name not the one printed on all the posters? My name. The dolls for sale at the theater entrance. They have my likeness, my dress, and my beautiful hair. I should be the one who makes the decisions. April 21st, 1843. One more song. Yes, one more. A last song for you, Papa. That must be her. And that must be her when she was younger. A portrait of a beautiful young dancer. No, I don't want to dance and sing anymore. It's enough for today. I want my lemonade. I want to play. Okay, so she's she's reverted back to when she was young. <laughs> I, lo I love that the dialogue option to ask about that person that I've been chasing is just, it just says, weird man. I just imagine that that's what my character actually says. Like, I just go up to someone and I just say, like, weird man. Like, Ugh, weird man. Like some sort of a caveman grunting out words. Incapable of forming a proper sentence. Who are you? Actually, madam, I'm afraid I've never met you before. I don't know who you are. Ah, don't you recognize me? Um... Oh, of, of, of course I recognize you. Of course. Oh, I was afraid that you wouldn't recognize me. You must have seen the posters of my performances. They're simply everywhere and quite wonderful. You must have seen them. Don't you think they're beautiful? Of course I do. Unfortunately, that's not an option. Um, can you tell me how to leave? I want to get out of this place. Hide and seek. Oh, I do love games. I go to the fog when I want to get away. Daddy won't find me there, you see. In the fog, there are no faces. I'm looking for a gentleman. He's well-dressed, with red hair. Do you know him? He led me to this place. No, father. I've been practicing the latest repertoire as you ordered. I have behaved very well today, haven't I? Let's play. Um. Now stand next to the fireplace and count to three. Okay. Sure. How do, how do I count to three? One, two, three. It didn't work. Oh, here we go. One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Is... Is something happening? Did the game crash? What, what's going on? Everything's still. Is this some, like, super suspense, or did the game just crash? Wait, now it just showed up again. One, two, three, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? What the... Oh! Hi. One, two, three, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? One, two, three. One more song. Let's keep waiting. What the blazes just happened? My head, it's pounding. And where did she go? The pile of things on the floor after... Caddy's disappearance. There is a mask. It's a porcelain mask. It broke when it fell. The distorted features. There's a grotesqueness to them. I don't like to look at it. And look, underneath the mask, a photograph. 
All right, so that's her as a girl with her father. It has a note. Little Caddy Show. There's a girl lit up by a spotlight in a music hall, singing to live piano. All right, a broken porcelain mask. And she said, Caddy said that there's no faces in the fog. Maybe I can repair this with the resin. I'm going to do that before I go to the go to the laughing man. Let's save that for later. Nope. It kind of makes sense. I mean, I don't think resin is quite that strong to actually meld porcelain together. I mean, it would kind of stick, but I don't think it would stay. Hmm. Could go up into the attic. A portrait of a middle-aged man. He seems troubled. Let's go up. No, oh, it's actually relatively well lit. It's a bird cage. This cage must have housed a huge bird. Only a feather remains. I can't reach the feather from here. Uh You do realize that the there's so much space between the bars that you could like fit almost your entire body? Okay, if you say so, Devitt. It looks like the lyrics to a song entitled, The Last Song for You. The verses are scrawled so poorly as to make them illegible. This piano is so dusty, I dare say it hasn't been played in years. I wonder if it still works. Something is preventing one of the keys from depressing. There was a key hidden under the key. <laughs> there was a key hidden under the key. That is horribly ironic. I love it. A key under a key. Let me guess, it's to the birdcage. This cage has no keyhole. Never mind. Okay, what is it to then? Hmm. Before I go in there, let's move on. This opens. Okay, so does this open? The doorknob is missing. <laughs> of course. The door's not locked, it's just missing the doorknob. That must be what he's laughing about. He realizes I can't come inside because the freaking doorknob is missing, and he finds it incredibly humorous. We'll see about that. I'm going to smash your face just like this broken mask. The man in the picture has a quite hypnotic gaze. It's not funny! Stop laughing! Oh, that's... That's got to be the father. No, no. I guess he's a perfectionist. <laughs> and he keeps messing up. Viola Clef, to be pressed. Hmm. A painting of a beautiful young lady with a peaceful expression. She looks like one of Raphael's angels. No, no, no! Did I not pray enough? Have I not written faithfully every last note you scrawled, screwed into me? Middle C up to A. Measure G up to C. Tied F. Second violin. Bar 2. Middle C up to A. Double note E, G, C. No, this was supposed to be our masterpiece. Viola C. Up an octave, and then up to G. What? What? Who do you think you are? Are you blind, man? Can't you see that I am creating the angel's voice? The work. 
C to A, an octave higher, a fragile voice flutters around the strf... No, 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 no. Hands swallow you, laugh at you. I lost it again. Are you all right, sir? My inspiration, too, is lost, quite lost. In the fog, the notes moan, just her. Who was she? Oh, beautiful Daphne. The best soloist that a composer could have. The voice of an angel. What made my music possible. She would stand there by the window. The wind caressed her cheeks. It danced in her golden hair. Her dress glowed like an ember in the dusk sun. What happened to her? She was very delicate. Like a flower in the desert. Like a petal in the storm. The sickness. It just swept her away. Her voice, my God, her voice. It came from heaven. She was the angel of my music. The mausoleum outside the house. Is that where Daphne is? Buried? That's right. I have visited her, visited her many nights, and have even slept beside her on the cold, wet stone floor. I am following a man, though come to think of it, maybe he is following me. He has a red beard and wears a cape. I sometimes find this man, too, among my notes. I feel him close to me at times. Please, I need to get out of this place. You ask me for words, but words are betrayers. They're dirty. Music, just music, remains beautiful, but it's a prisoner inside all of us. We must set it free. I can't help you now, not until my work is finished. My work is the important thing. She was my only inspiration. I must go. Let music and singing surround you, my man. Maybe that's what this key is for. The mausoleum. Was it locked? I genuinely can't remember. I remember I couldn't open it, so I guess it probably was locked. A tailor's mannequin. Why is it beside the window? Could I put the mask on it if it was fixed? The mask will fall off in this state. I have to repair it first. Okay, so I do. Probably need to put it on that when it's fixed. Paper, bound up in a roll. It seems to be a discarded musical score. Hmm. The wallpaper is torn. Alright, let's leave him be. A rolled up score of music. There are so many deletions and corrections that it's impossible to read. Wonder what that's good for. <laughs> Would you stop laughing? Whatever it is, it's not that funny. Alright, let's go try the mausoleum door with this key. The keyhole is too big for such a small key. What the hell is this key for? I could take the score up to the piano, but why? It says it's unreadable, so I couldn't, I couldn't possibly read it and play it. I don't even know if this, if Devitt can even play the piano. No. If I blew through the paper roll, maybe I could manage to make the feather fly. <laughs> Seriously? You could have just tucked your arm in, but okay. I got it. It's a big black feather with some gray spots in the base. <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps I could use it as a brush. 
Yes, actually, maybe I don't need to repair the mask itself, but I could simply brush resin onto the mannequin. So both sides would stay easily. I managed to coat the feather with the resin. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe the re this resin would be useful somewhere else. Oh. Damn it. Okay, what am I doing with this resin? I have stuck the pieces together with the resin. This face. It reminds me of a girl from one of the paintings. Oh. That actually did work. Okay, apparently the resin is very resiny. What do you think of that? Hmm. Apparently not much. A tailor's mannequin. Why is it beside the window? Good question. Why did I just do that? No, no. Ah, no new dialogue. No new dialogue options. I'm not sure why I just did that. But this damn key must be for something. Okay, let's go explore the sewers. Because I still haven't been there yet. Now that I have this lantern. Or can I... Oh good, I can go, okay. I hear a woman's voice in the distance. It sounds as if she's singing. A lullaby? Is that Daphne? Do not fall asleep. <laughs> Great. There is a note, partly obscured by mud. I mustn't fall asleep. I hear them crawling. I hear them gnawing. Rats. Too many of them. They know I'm here. I mustn't fall asleep. They stalk me, coming closer and closer. I can see their blood-red eyes glimmering in the darkness. I mustn't fall asleep. So, the text at the beginning of the sewer that says rats. That's a warning, not an exclamation. A pile of ragged clothes. Caked with mud and full of holes. The dead roots of a once great tree fill the cavernous sewer. A strange green moss covers its surface. And there is a great crack along its length. Great crack along its length. Is that where the voice is coming from? It is. It's coming from the crack. There's a great crack along its length. Can I go inside? I guess I can't. Strange.
Okay. So I need to figure out what this key goes to. What is locked? What around here is locked? I really don't remember seeing anything that's locked. I could try going out into the fog again, but I think that's pointless. I can see something on the other side of that window, but from here I can't distinguish what it is. Well, what would be in there would be... the mannequin with the mask that I put on it. I can't open this, though. And this key is not for it. Oh, the wardrobe! The wardrobe is locked! Yes! Okay. There is an elegant scarlet party dress inside. Nothing else in the wardrobe. <laughs> yes, just right. It looks more and more like the young woman in the painting. Okay, what's missing? I don't have anything left on me. So it has a face and it has a dress. What does it need? Hair? With a peaceful expression. Maybe she needs hair. Anything new to mention? No. Okay, where would I find hair? Where, where, where could I possibly find hair? Maybe down the stair? Z. <laughs> I'm assuming I need hair. Blonde hair by the looks of it. Yep. I think I need blonde hair. But how? Let's attempt to go into the fog, even though I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. Just in case. Maybe something's different. No, it doesn't look like it. Nope. I don't suppose you have any spare blonde hair? No. Where would you even find hair? Is 
inside of the slaughterhouse? Why would you find a hair inside of the slaughterhouse? How do I even find it? Where was it? No. Hold on, I want to go back here. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Pick up the clothes. And I can't do anything with this grand... With the... These massive roots. Nope. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm actually going to end this episode here. If the last episode is anything to go by, then there's probably quite a bit left of this episode. Because the first episode was about an hour, but the second one was about two hours. And I'm feeling like this is going to be a pretty long one as well, because I'm already an hour into it. And it doesn't feel like I'm near the end. But we'll see how it goes on the next episode. So I'm very much enjoying this so far. And I hope you have too, and I will be back soon with the rest of Chapter 3.